Welcome back to another luxury property tour. My name is Gavin, and this is my girlfriend Lydia, who's normally behind the camera, but today brought her in front of the camera because our friends at ELP gave us the opportunity to stay in this eight and a half million dollar home here in the 30A area. We're literally right here on the Gulf of Mexico. So we've been kind of back and forth between here and the ocean, which has been awesome. So we're basically sent here today to give you guys an experience of a firsthand experience of what it's actually like staying and living here on 30A. And it's been a ton of fun and we wanna show you guys what we've been up to. So starting in the backyard, we got the hot tub right here. We were in the hot tub for, I don't know, a how long? A long time last night. I would like say like three Yeah, like three hours. hours. Yeah. Um, and we got some really cool shots of like the sky. We mm -hmm. saw the stars coming in. So it was really beautiful and we could hear like the waves coming in, which is awesome. So it kind of just, I don't know, it felt really tranquil, relaxing. And mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, I just really, really enjoyed it. Huge house. It felt a little weird. <laughs> All to ourselves. All to ourselves. Cause there's room for like first, second, third, third cousins, like the whole family uh, could come stay here. Cause there's like 20, six bedrooms, but yeah, it sleeps 20 people. So let's take us in to, well, I guess the outdoor kitchen and then we can kind of go inside, maybe play some pool, uh, yeah. you know. There's a lot of stuff we get into here. <laughs> Out here on the covered patio, we have three ceiling fans, paneled wood ceilings and a Viking gas grill, deep sink, mini fridge. I think there's like multiple, multiple mini fridges on every floor of this home. So, and obviously the pool set up and then right here, through these two sliding glass doors, it opens up into your playroom. Well, you got the pool table set up and then just above those pecky cypress ceilings lining the ceiling, beautiful millwork throughout this home and 12 foot high ceilings everywhere. So everything's over exaggerated, everything's big, large and to the top of the scale. Bar top right here and then set up behind me is this wet bar that stretched the entire width of the wall with another mini fridge and Mealy appliance. Now back behind Lydia is the bunk room. So. Like she said, this place can sleep up to 20 people. And uh, well, here you go. You got literally one twin right here, a queen, another queen, and a queen, and a twin. So that right there already sleeps about a half a dozen people. So cool room right here. And of course you got the ensuite bathroom that's kind of just open up for everyone to use. Penny tile, and you're gonna see a lot of playful tile and backsplash throughout the song because we're in 30A, they can get away with it here, you know? Back in Nashville, we gotta tame things down a bit, but here there's a lot of coastal colors and it just feels really light and open. But before we go upstairs, I wanna show you guys something that ELP, they hooked us up. So in the garage, we have my favorite thing here, Lid, what do we got, what do we got? So ELP set us up uh, with third parties, a bunch of bikes, so bunch we could bikes. take one out every day, try them all out, just yeah. in case. <laughs> but our favorite part is in this garage. They set us up with a golf cart. <laughs> I know, but it's funny just for us. It's literally just us two in this huge house. <laughs> yeah. So next time, we need to bring we need to bring the everyone. Family, we need to bring friends, everyone. anyone who wants to come. Yeah. So now let's go back upstairs. Okay. Check out kind of the kitchen area and the rest of the house. Let's go. So also another thing in this home that's super awesome is you have your choice of stairs if you're you know feeling motivated today or the elevator. So. Um, let's, let's take the elevator. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So here on the second level, this has one of my favorite copper ceilings with the laser cutouts, literally from lane to lane to width to width here in the open concept, living, formal dining and kitchen area. This home's awesome. And this is really cool. There's a little accordion style window that opens up so you can serve your guests from inside the home in the bar area. In the wet bar, I love the blue. It's so pretty and this really makes the room pop. And then in the wine fridge, ELP got us some wine. Yeah, they're complimentary, so nice. which was really sweet of them. We have two bottles of rose. And this is super cool because you can, you know, pour a glass of wine and then serve it out to your friends and family that are out here enjoying the really beautiful sunset and overlooking the pool. And it's so cool because like through the homes, you can literally see the Gulf of Mexico mm -hmm. and obviously the sunset on the rooftop deck that we'll get to here in a minute. It's beautiful. It's just like, it, it's, it's next level. So, but yeah, here is the formal living room and it is also gorgeous. I mean, the ceiling, especially at night, I feel like it just has a lot of light reflection. Yeah. And of course we got the double doors open right here, letting all that 
ocean breeze come in. It feels so good. Yeah, it's nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then over here is where Lydia has made, uh, I think she tacos. made some tacos last <laughs> night, but hey, they Don't were good. Don't look in the sink. They were good though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't look in the sink. Yeah, but this hood vent right here, and then you have, again, more Mealy appliances below. So everything is to par, everything matches, and it's all super high end. I mean, it's ELP, right? So we have a working pantry to Gavin's right, but we're not going to show you it because it is a mess. That's where all of our stuff is. Yeah. <laughs> and then we have the hidden fridge right there and then the hidden freezer at the under end, which is super cool. And this, I really like this spot. It's super cute, white and bright. It's like, you know, nice little breakfast nook. I know I feel like you would come in here, have your coffee, a cute little meal, and then you would bring a book in here and read it. You know? Yeah, I mean, we haven't so done cute. it yet, but tomorrow morning, maybe <laughs> tomorrow we'll Tomorrow morning, that. I will. <laughs> yeah, I wanna talk about this covered porch really quick. I know indoor, outdoor flow is super important in any beach home, and they kind of nailed it here again. Uh, so right here, of course, we overlook the pool down below, so you can kind of get tabs on the party and what's going on down below here. Or you can even cannonball in. Yeah, we don't endorse that. <laughs> no. But I wouldn't be mad if you did it right now for the video. <laughs> Looks like Lydia poured herself a glass of wine, right? So I didn't get any. So, but since you treated yourself, why don't you do some work? Show us okay. the rest of the show us the rest of the house. Come on. Let's go. Let's go check out the rest of my lovely home. Yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> okay, back here we have a couple bedrooms. And ELP if you're watching this coaster, drink Wow. I'm a good guest. <laughs> Great so. guest. <laughs> but powder room off to my right. You're gonna see marble literally everywhere throughout this home, so I'll keep on saying that multiple times. Stacked laundry right here as well. Laundry is on every single floor here in this home, so a lot of rooms, a lot of people, sleeps up to 20, so I mean, it's good to have the convenience. Coffered ceilings here, king size bed, I mean, Everything in here, they did a great job mixing the whites and the natural colors. I mean, right here, everything feels really coastal. The coastal charm is just on point. Have the oak floors beneath us. More marble here in the bathroom with a single vanity. Uh, all those whites and textures really just play really well off each other. We got another bedroom off to my left down the hall. More marble, like I mentioned. Marble on the ceiling, walls, literally every direction. Single vanity there again. And another king size bed. This room really just mimics the other room we were just in. And this one, if you look down close enough, you can almost see the gulf. So, but we'll get better views as we go up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go up to the second floor. So as Lydia comes up, I'll point out the lighting that's on the stairs. The stairs get lit up here at night, so it's super safe. You can go up and down and just have that, the stairs lit up. I think that's super thoughtful. There's a lot of nice details in this yeah. house. Yeah, super thoughtful. The layout is just on point. Here in the kind of like the decompression or hangout room, have a little, table set over here for like newspaper and night? coffee or game nights, right? What do we got this here? Lot. Yeah, this is cool. Spiral staircase. Where does it go? <laughs> Couldn't be up, right? Couldn't be up. <laughs> and then right behind me, we have a couple more spacious bedrooms over here. And we have the elevator and what it looks like from the inside. Oh yeah, gotta get, gotta get a shot of the elevator <laughs> here. And then down this way, we have a few more bedrooms. We have a nice big king size bedroom, the vaulted ceilings, which are just really pretty. These really nice built in closets, like they're, they're massive. There's even like a small one over here for your shoes. And then yeah, so you can stay here. I mean, this rental yeah. is made to like stay for like, you can stay here for a week. You have your own little what, private balcony, which is super nice. So you can get away from the rest of the people staying here, which is always a plus. Well, it's awesome if you open it up. I'm pretty sure you have views of the Gulf. Let's go check it out. Yeah, this is just gorgeous out here at night. I mean, I like that this has a balcony and that you can get away from the rest of the house. Mm -hmm. This might be the only room that has this feature. I guess we'll find out as we go through yeah. the rest well, we of the house. Yeah, well, we gotta check out our room. Right? And one more bedroom and right one more over bedroom. here. Let's go do it. Now down the hall into our final and last bedroom here in this home, the primary suite. You have a dry bar right here off the bathroom, pecky cypress ceilings here, and a little seating area off the king size bed, which walks out to your large balcony. And that's gonna loop around through those sliding glass doors. Beautiful views and every vantage point in this home, especially here on the third level. Spacious bathroom in here. And we had so much fun hanging out on the rooftop during these nights. We had some great conversations between here and the beach. Got beautiful views 
and moments captured all the way throughout here. And I love this shot. There's no filter on it. That's what the sunset looks like here in 30A. If you're planning to visit 30A, I highly recommend reaching out to ELP as they have the best team and rentals on the market, hands down, no questions. From beginning to end, we had constant communication and this will be a trip we will remember and we'll be back hopefully to do it again very soon. And also you guys can use code GAVRIN10 when you call ELP for booking inquiries. So that saves you 10% off of your total amount when you book with GAVRIN10. And with that guys, I will see you guys on the next tour.